Hey, it's Mike from Risco Music, and I want to talk to you today about how to use an electric tuner. So there are clip-on tuners that clip onto your instrument. Many acoustic electric guitars have a built-in tuner with a little display on the side, which is really convenient. And then there are pedal tuners, and they all work relatively the same way. One reason, or a couple of reasons, of course, that you want to use a tuner is you want your instrument to be in tune, and you can tune by ear, and that's really important also. But when you use a tuner, it will bring you up to concert pitch. So that means that if you go to play with a band or you go to play with a keyboard player whose instrument is in tune to concert pitch, you will be exactly at the right spot. So let's take a look at a couple of tuners. Here is an Alvarez RF26CE. This guitar has a built-in pickup system with a tuner in it. Uh, here's how they work. You hit the button, it engages the tuner, and it's going to have a little display. I play the string once and let it ring. Now, one cool thing is when you engage the tuner, it stops the signal to the amplifier so your audience doesn't have to hear you tune. So I play this. Let's see if I can do this while I hold the guitar. I bring it up, and it will turn green when it's in tune. Now, each tuner might use a little bit of a different color or a symbol. Okay, so now it's in tune. Then I move to the next string and I tune that. So if I play this, it's also flat. I'm gonna bring it up, Oop, let's see. There it is. So I wanna bring that up until it turns green with this tuner, so there it is. Now, you do have to know a little bit of theory because for instance, if I go to tune the next string, which is G, if it was tuned to a different letter, for instance, an F, the, the tuner is going to actually say the letter F on it. So I have to know that F is a little lower than G, and I have to keep going up until it says G. All right, so that's how that kind of tuner works. There are other tuners um, on the market like this. This is one that we sell from on stage. This is a little clip-on tuner. Looks like that. It has a display on it. If you can see that okay and there's a little clip here you clip it onto the top of the guitar like this and it works on vibrations and it works exactly in the same way sometimes at a gig these are a little tricky because if a drummer is playing or a bass player it might be vibrating your instrument which may be giving this um, a little bit of a faulty reading so it's super convenient to have a built-in tuner here so clip-on tuners very popular though and then here are two other tuners that I use a lot in my pedal board. This is the Boss TU3. It looks like this. It can go in a pedal board. You can use this pedal all by itself. It takes a nine volt battery or an adapter. It also, you can plug one side into the wall for electricity or use your battery inside. And then you can run a daisy chain cable off of this. And this pedal will power up to five other pedals, which is really convenient. And then we have a slightly fancier version, which is the Boss TU3W, the Wazacraft pedal. It's black and it does pretty much the same thing, but has a couple extra features like a true bypass and a buffer. And these are great tuners. It's great to get yourself a tuner and experiment using it. You can also do all kinds of alternate tunings and drop D and um, usually like myself, I, I use tuners that are built into my guitar and the pedal tuner and a clip-on tuner. So I hope you find that helpful. Let us know if you have any questions and please visit us anytime at riscomusic.com.